All right, so now that our environment is set up, we're ready to start our Angular 2 project. And like I said, this is kind of an introductory project. It's not going to do much. The point of it is to, to show you how to get it set up, uh, how to create components, and, and just learn about the fundamentals and the basics of Angular. All right, so uh, there's a few different ways. Well, there's actually a lot of different ways that you can start your project out. Uh, in fact, there is just a, a command line tool, Angular CLI, that has been released that we'll take a look at later on in, in another project. But for now, I want to just show you the most common way to do it, which is through the, the quick start, all right, which was recently updated. Uh, we may have a couple videos with um, the older quick start version because they were done before this one came out, but there's not much difference. All right, so what we're going to do is go to angular.io and click on get started. And this um, basically is going to take us step by step in how to do this. Now, you could just go to the quick start GitHub page, which is this link right here. And we could go ahead and clone this. Uh, but what I want to do is go through it file by file and just kind of explain what it is and what's going on. Um, and a lot of it is going to come from this page here. All right, so let's go scroll down a little bit here. And um, this right here, we have to create these files and put this code in. All right, so first thing we're going to do is let's create, I have this, this folder called um, A2, A2 Projects, and we're going to create a folder for our project. All right, so we'll just call this um, uh, A2 website all right and i'm going to add that in my text editor in atom as a project folder okay so let's see that's on my desktop a2 website okay so we're also going to open up a command line in that folder now i'm using git bash so i have the um, git bash here option on my context menu you should too if you installed it. If not, just navigate to this folder in your command line or your terminal. All right, make this a little bigger so you guys can see it. And we need to create a package.json file. Now we could just manually create it or we can just say npm init. All right, and that'll go ahead and just ask a few questions. I'm just gonna keep the default for all of these. It's not really important. We're going to replace the, the content anyway. All right, but you can see that it's created a package.json file. All right, now what we're going to do is in the Angular website, we're going to copy the contents of this package.json. Okay, and we're just going to replace this whole thing. All right, and then what we'll do, I'm going to have to make this a little bigger. Let's change the name. And we'll call this a a2 website okay now let's go through this a little bit we'll first look at the dependencies all right so this has changed from the last version quite a bit it's including all these separate uh, components of angular 2 okay so we have things like the http module uh, the router everything is kind of has its own separate package or its own separate module so we're going to include all of that angular stuff all right then we have system.js which allows us to use um, modules and, and require different files and modules um, core.js that is a standard library for javascript it includes things like polyfills for uh, es5 and es6 um, promises, collections, things like that. All right, uh, reflect metadata. This has to do with the component decorators. Okay, decorators allow us to attach metadata to um, to Angular components. RxJS. This is reactive extensions. Um, this gives us observable, allows us to use observables and things like that. Uh, Zone.js. This has to do with uh, execution contexts, and they persist across asynchronous tasks. 
Um, and this stuff all this here was all in the older package as well. Um, the only th dependencies that really have changed is it's Angular has been broken up into these components. All right, uh, we have this Angular 2 in memory web API, which has to do with uh, integrating web APIs into services. Uh, and then we have Bootstrap, which is also included. Now down here we have our dev dependencies. Okay, concurrently allows us to run multiple commands concurrently, uh, like npm run watch and uh, npm start, things like that. Light server is a dev server that Angular 2 uses, or this quick start uses. Um, it's not meant to be for production, it's strictly for, uh, for development. All right, and of course we have TypeScript, which is a typed superset of JavaScript, which will compile to regular JavaScript. And then we have typings, which is the TypeScript definition manager. Okay, so we can define different typings in, in the configuration file that we'll create. So those are the dependencies for the quick start. Now up here we have this scripts object, and this is where we have our different commands. All right, now if we run the TSC command, what that'll do is that'll compile all of our TypeScript files into regular JavaScript. All right, we can also add the watch flag here, and what that'll do is it'll keep it running so that when we update our TypeScript files, they'll automatically be compiled. All right, now if we run start, which is um, probably the only one we're actually going to run because that, that'll run all of these things. Um, this TypeScript compiler, it'll run um, the light server, npm run um, TypeScript compiler with the watch option. So that's the main command to run your application. All right, so that's the package.json file. Let's go ahead and save that. All right, now let's go back to our documentation here. And the next file we want to create is tsconfig.json. And what that is is a TypeScript configuration file. All right, so let's go ahead and grab that. And we're going to go and create a new file called tsconfig.json. Okay, we'll paste that in. And these are just different options. For instance, our target is going to be ECMAScript 5, okay, which is um, just the, the JavaScript version that most or, or pretty much all browsers can understand. Um, we don't want to work with ES6 just yet because there's some browsers that aren't up to date with some of the the functionality that's offered. All right, we're also making it so that we can use common JS modules, so we can uh, use require and some other stuff here. Source map for true that that means that it's going to also create a dot map file for debugging. Um, so let's go ahead and save this. All right, and then the next one is typings.json, and those are the TypeScript definitions. So copy that, and we'll create a new file over here, and let's call it typings.json. Paste that in. Okay, save that. We're not going to need to touch that file, or actually, we're not going to need to touch any of these. They just need to be created. All right, and then the last one here is systemjs.config. So we're going to copy that and create a new file called systemjs.config.js. Paste that in. So this is our uh, universal dynamic module loader so that we can load modules. All right, I'm not going to go through every line, but just know that uh, it's needed for this in order for this quick start to work. All right, so we'll save that. And these are the four main files that are going to be in the root. Okay, now if we go down, you can see that we need to run npm install so that we can install our dependencies. So let's go back to our command line. Okay, we're going to just say npm install. Okay, that might take a minute. And you can already see it's created a node modules folder, and that's where all of our dependencies will go. Okay, we're not going to need to touch anything in that folder. And then it also created a typings folder. 
okay, which has the different type definitions. Okay, so let's scroll down a little more here. And this is just explaining the package.json file, which I already went over, the different scripts. Uh, let's see. Now what we need to do is create a folder called app. All right, and that's where all of our Angular 2 stuff will go. So let's create a new folder here called app. All right, and this is going to hold all of our components. Now, with Angular 2, there is going to be a, um, a root component, a root app component, and then every other component is pretty much um, a subcomponent of that. All right, so let's go ahead and create that. We're going to say new file. We're going to call it app dot component.ts okay so this is a typescript file and then we're going to just grab this right here and paste that in okay and this is uh, this is the code for a component very very simple um, we're importing the main component package from angular core all right and then this here at component this is a decorator this allows us to attach metadata to the component so in this case we want a selector that's basically going to be the um, the directive or the html tag that we want to use to include this component and then we have a template which in this case is just a string which has a heading in it or an h1 heading and then of course we have our class our comp um, class app component all right, so we're going to save that. And any other component we build is going to have this basic structure. All right, so let's go down. This is just explaining to us what I just said, the decorator, the class. All right, now we're also going to need another file in here called main.ts. Okay, so let's say new file, main.ts. And this is going to be used as a bootstrap file, okay, to... to get the angular 2 application up and running so if we look at the documentation here we want to grab this okay now first thing we're doing is importing the bootstrapper from angular and then we're importing the app component from app.component which is the file we just created and then we're taking this bootstrap function and wrapping it around the component okay that's going to bootstrap it or start it up so let's save that and then, of course, we need our index.html file, which is going to go outside of the app folder in the root. Okay, so let's say new file, index.html. And if we go to the documentation, we're going to go down to this area and just grab everything here and paste it in. All right, so let's go through this. We have our HTML tags, our head, head and body tags. In the head, we have um, things like our meta tags, uh, metadata character sets we have our viewport we have a link to a style sheet which I actually like to call style.css so we can create that real quick I'm gonna say new file style.css and that's where we can put our main styles and then here we're including some of the different modules alright so our zone JS the uh, reflect metadata the system JS Okay, things that uh, we installed earlier through dependencies. And then here we have our system.js config file, which we created. We're including that. And then we're calling that the system.import and app, okay, because that's what we called the folder there. This is basically um, firing off our bootstrap. And then in the body, you can see we have this my app tag. That's actually the selector that we have in our app component right here. Okay, so this has to match that HTML tag, and that's where everything will be included. All right, so let's go ahead and save that, and then let's go back to our command line, and we should now be able to just say npm start. And what that's doing is it's compiling all of our TypeScript, and then it's going to run the light server. And you can see we now have my first Angular 2 app, which is coming from right here all right and if we look in our app folder here you can see that the ts files app component and main.ts have compiled into regular javascript files js files all right and you can see that there's a a big difference this is the reason that uh, it's really recommended to use typescript over just javascript 
when building Angular 2 applications. And we also have a .map, js.map file for debugging. All right, so that's it. We have our quick start set up. In the next video, we'll start to create some components and uh, get this application up and running.